Hello everybody and welcome to a VR Concept Alpha version 3 created by Sam Wolf. This is a, another map that I found whilst uh, scouring the workshop for weird maps and when I saw the workshop thumbnail I was like yeah we're definitely going to be having a go at that one. As you can see we are on a beautiful desolate seaside small island which now I think about it is completely redundant to say because all small islands are in fact seaside. Um, we got a radio that appears to be playing copyrighted music, which I'd really, really rather it wasn't. Can I eat? Oh. Oh, okay. Sure. Uh, well, that takes care of that in a typical aperture fashion. And now my outro music plays distantly out to sea. Sure. Um, okay, so as you might guess, things are not entirely as they would have first appear, which is a shame because it's beautiful, quiet, peaceful, and a devoid of humans here. But we have been instructed to have a cup of tea. And being British, I must comply. Yeah, cup of tea. Oh! The design needed a rework. Um, because of brush limit. Well, there goes my immersion. Sure, uh, that is very cool. Did the whole world just glitch then? Oh, wow. Okay, I love this already. Um, the claw has delivered my portal gun. Thank you, the claw. I love that, thanks. Thank you. Do like a good aperture claw. They always ever either give you something or just unexpectedly take it away from you. Oh, that is so nicely done. You see the whole like world glitch then? So this seems to be, you know, aperture's typical approach. Hey, why use fancy headsets? Why use any sort of mind control when you can literally just stick them in a box surrounded by, I'm guessing, LCD TV panels? Okay. Yeah, I love the way that glitches out like that. Um, so this is not real can i can i make this real again i'd much rather be here and alone no okay that apparently does not go back in place okay well the real world unfortunately does appear to still exist out there it appears to be typically i love the way that's glitching can you do it again can you do it again it's like seamless until the glitch rolls round that is very, very nicely done. Okay, I take it you do want me to actually have to deal with reality. Uh, there appears to be sufficiently broken glass out there. We can stick a portal through. Typically, we need another panel, though, so... How do we... Ah, wait, everything is... Everything's a panel, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. Yep, everything is panel. Does that mean we can't even enjoy the deck chairs? No, we can't get anywhere near them. What does that look like from... The other side. Can I peer around that? Okay, that is very, very cool. Uh, all right, fine. Let's deal with reality then. Jump through back into normal world. You can win by getting outside. But what outside? Opening from the inside is now available. Okay. Uh, oh, there's an arrow. An arrow pointing to, well, I guess the remote in the title. Press control to toggle chamber states. Okay, do a little dainty curtsy then. And a clicking noise. Does you do something with... The, there it goes. Okay, that is very, very cool and something I definitely want to go play with. Can we put it back and can we close it again at will? I'd honestly much rather go back into enjoying uh, the fake reality in there. So we now actually have the ability to open and close this however we want, right? Oh, I like that the whole simulation is starting to break apart when you do that. Oh, it like actually visually downgrades. Yeah, that is very nicely done. Just into like two-dimensional textures and everything. Okay. So the only part that sort of really exists is the sand. Can we close that up again? Oh, I love how that like actually loads in. Oh yeah, let's have a look at that again. So the panels start to like deactivate. Everything goes to just a sort of standardized texture. Then they flip away the panels. That is very, very cool. What does this actually look like when it closes up from outside then? Well done. Well, thank you. I guess I win by experiencing reality. Uh, I don't consider that a win, to be honest. Okay, some of these arms don't actually really appear to attach to anything. But things aren't entirely as they seem, are they? 
Why is this lone advanced virtual reality technology just in this bit of abandoned aperture? That is very, very typically aperture, yet another abandoned experiment. And I think my radio's under there somewhere. Let's open this up again. There's a bit of a delay. I take it, it takes some time to process. I do want to see that effect again. Yeah, I love the way that it's such like a standard texture. And then we load in the actual props and details and the, uh, what's the proper term? The um, field of view? No, not the field of view. Object load distance? You modders know exactly what I'm talking about. The amount of brushes and props you can have at a certain distance. And then when you're in here, it's seamless. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a map I have to check out with no clip to see how they're getting this to work. Is this a different part of the map? Are we getting teleported? Or are you genuinely doing this with changing textures on panels? Okay, very, very cool. Uh, we can win by getting outside. I'm guessing this doesn't technically count as outside. We're still... I don't know. Something still doesn't quite feel right. The way these are all floating. What else can we actually do? Um, yeah, that's upside down in there, isn't it? Can we go check that out? Uh, how do I get back into there? Well, I suppose if we go back into our simulation, this random pixel on the floor, what's that about? Is that anything I can manipulate now? Is the one hint that things aren't entirely as they seem. Also, just notice there's a door there we probably should have made use of. To load my world back up. Honestly, it's much nicer in here. Might just stay here. Let's go into this side. Ah, wait, that doesn't exist now because the panels move out there as well? That shouldn't have affected out there. Okay, we get back into this part. Here's the upside down part. So yes, things aren't entirely as they seem. Vitrified door. Uh, I guess we should actually go ahead and try out that door out there, right? Is there anything else I'm supposed to be playing with in here? No? Okay, well, let's go back into our simulation and desimulate then. And go check out what's going on with that other door then. Yeah, okay, so what's in through here? Thank you for volunteering. I feel like that's somewhere you put somebody who didn't actually volunteer, in all honesty. Uh, this is the other side of the upside down. Uh, we've got... There's a button down here. There's a switch here as well. What does a switch here do? Uh, that seems a little off. Oh. Oh, the switch actually loads the props? The switch loads the props in the part that shouldn't be fake. So wait, are they simulating themselves inside? And my tea's back. Can I have that cup of tea now? No, okay. That's really quite strange. And now I'm questioning which part of the simulation is actually which part of the simulation. I do love the way that changes and loads back in. So they are actually there, but they're not actually there. So why not just fake a room? You could have just painted the walls instead of all this fancy LCD screen technology. <laughs> love the way that glitches out like that. Literally deloads the simulation and now the props are gone too. Okay, sure, there was another button down in here, wasn't there? Uh, what does this one do? And why is the water here? Why doesn't the wall exist here? I mean, it physically exists. Okay, is that a design choice? Is that a limitation of hammer because of brushes? Or is the simulation inside a simulation inside a video game designed to keep us from thinking too hard? Probably best not to think too hard about it. Um, is this water here? Okay. Yeah. Um, let's get out of there. The simulation is, is actually starting to fall apart, isn't it? Anything else I can mess with? Why is that broken open? Can I put the props back? They come back again? They do. Yeah, that is very cool. I know this is uh, probably all there is to it looking at it now, but I love the way this works. That is a very, very fun concept and very cool to see played out like this. Definitely something worth having a look at with no clip. Let's just enjoy this one more time. Yeah, the fact that it's like a basic texture and then it loads everything in and it goes seamless. So very, very nicely done. 
Okay, let's go see what that actual button does. I've got a feeling that's probably everything we've got to experience here. Oh, what a cool little experience it was. Um, that's it, right? If we go press this button, you're probably going to tell me that's the end of the map. Or we're about to experience a whole different level of simulation. Oh, it's the end of the map, meaning we have to experience real life instead. Uh, yeah, I, I absolutely love that. That was a VR Concept Alpha version free update remote created by Sam Wolf. So a very big thank you to Sam Wolf for that one. Absolutely love the way it went from like basic textures all the way up to a seamless environment. Actually physically loading around you was so nicely done. And awesome as always to see how wonderfully creative the Portal 2 community can be. Unfortunately now though, I can no longer trust a cup of tea to actually even exist. And well, that's gonna make breakfast rather awkward. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you later.